Welcome back to Storytime with Lynn. Today I'll be reading Teach Your Dragon Gratitude by Steve Herman. Hello, it's us. We're back again. Drew and Diggory Do, a kid and his pet dragon with a story just for you. Don't be scared of Diggory Do. I promise he's not mean. In fact, he is the nicest dragon that you have ever seen. A dragon has emotions and feelings. They are just like us that way. Like joy, anger, fear, surprise, sorrow, and dismay. Some feelings just come naturally, but some of them are taught. I've taught Diggory gratitude. That's helped him out a lot. At our house once a week, we have a family movie night. We gather in the living room, and much to our delight, we watch a funny movie, and we pop some popcorn too. It's special and it's fun, and it's my favorite thing to do. But one time Diggory Do declared, let's be like my friend, Claire. Her family goes to the theater and watches movies there. Why must we always stay at home? That's boring, Diggory said. I'm sick and tired of being home, so let's go out instead. And Mom's cooking is okay, he said. But wouldn't it be neat? If we ate out at a restaurant, that would be a special treat. A pizza place with arcade games? So much fun! Yippee! The food we eat at home, Dad said, is good enough for me. Ricky got new soccer shoes. They're better shoes than mine. Why Diggory do to Mom, she said, your shoes are fine. Diggory said, but Ricky's shoes are yellow with stripes of sparkly blue. My shoes are old and black and plain, and I want new shoes too. And may I have a new computer, Diggory asked Dad. Drew and I must share one. That's why my grades are bad. All my friends have their own. Well, everyone but me. I really ought to have one, too. Wouldn't you agree? Diggory kept complaining. He said, I wish we had a pool. Like Katie has at her house, I think pools are pretty cool. Our house is nothing special. I think it's kind of lame that other homes are nice, but ours is not the same. On and on went Diggory Do, complaining every day. After hearing him complain so much, I finally had to say, Diggory Do, I think it's time you change your attitude, so I am going to teach you how to show some gratitude. When it comes to family movie night, Diggory Do, be glad that you have a loving family of me and mom and dad. Be thankful for the time we share. It doesn't matter whether... It's at home or someplace else, as long as we're together. And the food our mom cooks, there's love in every dish. Be thankful that your belly's full, Diggory Do. Don't wish. We can always eat at restaurants. Although eating out is nice, give thanks for all the food you have. That is my advice. And you really shouldn't think that you must get new soccer shoes. Just because the ones you have are not the ones that you would choose. Do you remember Pele? He said, of course, everybody does. When it comes to playing soccer, he's the best there ever was. When Pele was a child, I said, he had no shoes at all. All he had were his bare feet to kick a soccer ball. Your shoes may not be fancy, but diggory do you ought to be glad you get to play in soccer shoes you've got. And that computer that you want? Be honest, Diggory Do. Do you really have to have it? Is it possible that you are not doing well in school because of choices you have made? And it's not a shared computer that has caused your awful grade. I really think you should appreciate the house we have, I said and be thankful that it prevents the rain from falling on your head. It may not have a pool, 
but there's a park across the street. And though it's not the same, I think a park is pretty neat. Give thanks for our family and for food we get to eat, for the computer that we share and a park across the street. These are just a few things that we have which make us glad. Then Dickory Doo said, I think that there are things that I could add. We've only named a few things. There are more that we have missed. Dickory grabbed a journal and began to make a list of things that he is grateful for. He wrote down teddy bear and books and toys and friends and the clothes I have to wear. And don't forget our teacher, Mrs. Bright, I said, and trees and grass and soccer balls and warm and comfy bed. Then Diggory added rain because it makes the flowers grow. I like winter time, I shouted, so Diggory added snow. All day long we listed things that we are thankful for. When we thought that we were done, we thought of even more. I have too many things I'm grateful for to fit inside my head. I'll write in my gratitude journal to remember them all, he said. When I'm tempted to complain, he added, I'll list the things I've got. And I won't forget the best things are the things that can't be bought. Like the love of family and friends and the fragrance of a rose. Hearing songbirds in the tree and feeling sand between your toes. I'd say Diggory learned his lesson. Wouldn't you agree? He's thankful for the things he has, like dragons ought to be. You can list them in a gratitude journal, just like Diggory Do does too. Have an attitude of gratitude. You learn from Diggory Do. Thank you so much for joining me today on A Story Time with Lynn. Reading Teach Your Dragon Gratitude, a story about being grateful by Steve Herman.